So swing the rope back and forth. Yeah. Again, pay attention to the motion of the end of the rope. The same thing here. Ah, the hands are coming in too much. You're you not letting it go. Oh, did I do? Mm. Uh, here, on the way down, you're pulling this here, rather using the shoulder turn and throw. Now it's getting better. Throw, throw the end, yes. Now the hand, hand motion is better. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, so now hands are going this way instead of. And again, right rhythm, up and down motion, slide up and down motion, and then throw, throw, throw. Uh, in the back swing, in the back swing, the same thing. You are coming down here and then try to lift it here, just to let it go around. Yeah. Since this is continuous motion, that your hand motion should be also con uh, consistent. Exactly. Exactly. And then have a rhythm. Mm, mm, mm. Kick the ground, kick the ground, kick the ground. So the, again, the rope swing is coming from the leg actions. So the rope swing will naturally give you more push action, yeah. push action, instead of going this way here. So let me watch from here. Swing, swing back and forth continuously. Okay, continue, continue. I will record. Okay, look at this. Now see how you're moving your pelvis in the back swing. Stand on the right so yeah. that your pelvis is not going back yeah, in the back swing. And then, but the, you are kind of, kind of slowing down here. Uh -huh. let, it, let the rope go all the way in the and then this motion is continuous. Remember, go shoulder oh, yeah. wind up and then let it go. Instead of throw and then oh, yeah, yeah. stop here. As you push, and this is continuous push with this all the way here and then throw. Wing, wing. If this is a lightsaber, you are a Jedi. Okay. Okay, then wing, continuous motion instead of a wing, wing here. Good, wind up, let it go. Good, wind up, throw. Uh, the downswing, the same, the same idea uh, with the stick. You have to have early acceleration here. Oh, yeah. So you do not waste yeah, yeah, this here. So throw here. Okay. But if you don't accelerate early, then you tend to pull this, okay. this side here. Give good acceleration on this side. And with the speed, throw up. Yeah. Again, it's a it's a wing, wing instead, wing. Continuous motion. Yeah. Still, the rope is a bit too slow. Make it a bit faster in the back swing, okay. so that the rope can really come and they hit the, your chest here. Okay. Yep. So the the key is again, uh, because we are basically controlling the motion of the end of the rope, 
that means you have to have a good tension here. Yeah. When you maintain tension, then you can easily control this. But if you lose tension, you cannot control the motion. So the goal is you see, this hits my chest here. Let it go all the way. Yeah. So the, the end is moving around and hitting your chest. So it's not about slowing down here, then the rope drops. Remember, when you were using stick, when you kind of slow down at the end, then you tend to drop it down. But when you have one piece of motion, then the position was a lot better. The same thing. You have to have a continuous rope motion. Your goal is to move the end of the rope. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So when the rope goes all the way here yeah. and it hits here, that means that you are maintaining this tension. Uh -huh. So on the way down, you can move the rope right away. But if it drops, you lose tension. Mm -hmm. As your body moves, rope is not responding right away. Then later, so you have to, your hands have to come in quite a bit here. When you maintain tension, you can start throwing here. Again, just use a, one hand, put your left arm there. Ah, uh, you are slowing down this year. You have to let the rope hit your chest in the back swing. So when you, have a main, when you maintain good tension here, you can start accelerating the rope right away. If you lose tension, then you tend to drag it. So now both hands here, both hands. Make sure that this goes around your body enough. In the downswing, listen to uh, the whoosh sound. Yeah. Where do we have whoosh sound? This. On this side, it's too oh, late, too late. Oh, so it's definitely late. Yeah, so you have to have a good speed up here. Okay. So you have to put good effort here and then generate whoosh here on this side instead of uh, yeah. this side here. Yeah. Okay. So again, you have to uh, start the action early okay. by using the wind up and the let it go. Now, aim the space between these two T's here. So make it a bit flatter. Let's make the swing plane a bit flatter. Go back, stay where you are, uh -huh. and then but the, bring the rope a bit oh, up okay. here. Make sure it passes uh, in right. this direction here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, currently, your swing plane is a bit too uh, steep. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Throw. Wind up, throw, wind up, throw, wind up, throw. Mm. But still, still in the back swing, it's uh, slowing down quite a bit here. Let it hit the chest. Okay. Bring it uh, faster. Let the end hit your chest. So you feel a little bit of pain here, then that's uh, the, uh, the, the medal you get okay. with this rope swing. Yeah, develop a bruise here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So when, when the rope hits your body, then you have early action here. But if it slows down, then you lose tension. So the hands tend to come in uh -huh. and they're late. Yeah. yeah. They keep good, wind up, let it go all the way from there using the tension and then throw. And then make sure you throw the end of the rope this way. Yeah. 
So when the, in the backswing, the rope goes a bit faster, yeah. you have a good plane here. So you don't worry, have to worry about controlling this motion. Simply, yeah, simply reverse the direction and then let it go. Then it becomes a lot easier. Again. So now your motion is very different. Yeah. Versus let it go around, let it go around. So this is the idea of uh, you know using a rope. This is yours. Oh. You, uh, you have a rope? Uh, yeah. But uh, you can take it, or you can give it to your student. I'll bring it. At UNT, yeah. I'm gonna it. You see, this is how, uh, it, how it works. Again, swing this as if you're swinging a rope. But remember, active motion all the way. Yeah. Maintain the plane. Just to give enough, enough motion here in the reverse direction, throw. Then your swing motion becomes really simple. Yeah, swing through the space between the two T's. Yes. Yep. Yep. And now at least you are releasing it here, right? So. Practice this a lot, and then eventually start hitting the ball. Okay. But before you uh, hit a lot of balls, when, and then this time I will aim this one here. So when you release, when you release and then the arm is uh, extended enough, okay. then the head cannot go any further here. Oh, okay. So this is the, the farthest you can go, yeah. and then match this to where the ball is. Then, as long as you release, this will always pass through uh, where the ball is. So you don't have to worry about impact. Okay. Oh. So just to keep, you know, throw. When you, when you release, then automatically you will go here. But when you do this, you have to pay attention to yeah. whether it hits the ball or not, right? So the advantage of releasing well this distance becomes a fairly consistent. You have no surprise here. Yeah, so uh, practice this way. This is uh, quite useful. Mm. So I'm using this uh, quite a bit in these days. When it's a uh, light, you tend to manipulate it, but you have to really work with it and then develop the, the, the sense of releasing it. Then you can do anything. Now let's use the club here. Swing the club, okay. as, uh, and then do the stage three. But again, remember, remember that the trigger motion is going back here. Again, you're moving the club head around. Okay. And let it go a bit more. Let it go in the back. Swing. Let it go a bit more. And then no need to rush down. You tend to uh, rush. Give enough time in the back swing. Yeah. Uh, this this back swing is a bit short. Mm. <clears throat> so when you are swinging the club, again, image that you are swinging a stick or rope. Okay. So let it go all the way. They maintain this plane here, all the way here. And then swing, swing, swing. And then do not rush, give enough time, but make the motion continuous. You don't stop, okay? So again, feel the motion of the clip head. Feel the motion of the clip head. I think you need to use a bit lighter club. Yeah, because it's heavy and then you tend to start this motion here. Because you try to drag it. Yeah. So, but uh, you can start with uh, something light and then also use a bit lighter club. But you can generate enough speed with that. Okay. But, uh, so you can mix these things. Yeah. Make sure you maintain the same motion pattern. Okay. But at least what you have done is you start releasing the, uh -huh, the 
the device, right? So instead of turn and lift here, try to hit the ball with the, yeah. the strength here. Let it go around and then build tension in these muscles here and then let it go. And what this does is it doesn't go out here. Yeah. Just to simply turn around, yeah. it maintains good connection with the chest here. And then shoulder girder gives good motion so that yeah. you can keep it relatively close to the body. Instead of lifting the hands, oh, yeah. then you drop the club head. So keep it here and then let the club head move around. So then the club head will go here. Not too high, not too low. Yeah, with that, the club head will be here. And then, if the uh, backswing is uh, large here, this is okay. It's uh -huh. not overswing. It's not overswing. Okay. Uh, this is not a problem. Yeah. As long as the club stays uh, on the right plane. On the right plane. Okay. Yeah. But if this goes here, this crossover, uh -huh. and if it's dropped, then this is intentional layoff here. Okay. Then it causes trouble on the way down. Yeah. Because you have to uh, compensate that. Okay. So make sure just to let it go, and then reverse the direction, and then let it go. Eliminate all unnecessary movement. And from there, just let it go. Then your right elbow go in front of your body and swing through. Remember, here the hand goes a bit higher here. Swing here and then the hand goes a bit higher. Simply let the head go along the pre-planned path. Okay? But if your hand stays low and then you're uh, with the rigid wrist here, then you are, try to, uh, you are you're trying to manipulate the club motion. But let it go, let it go. So with this action, essentially you are hitting the ball with the leg action. Yeah. 